What's up guys, welcome to your 7th Java Game Applet tutorial. Uh, we're going to work with our ball, it's looking pretty good right now, we got our, uh, you know, our Y direction all sorted out. Now what we're going to work with is the horizontal direction, adding some, you know, friction to our ball when it hits the ground uh, to make it look a little bit more realistic. So we're just going to jump into our run method again, um, and just to show you guys what I mean, what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's set our DX value to be 20, something like that, and run it. Now our y, our y is still working, but uh, you know our ball will roll forever. So we want to get rid of that problem. So what we're going to add is some friction when it hits the ground um, and all that stuff. So let's scroll down again to a run method. We're going to throw in an if statement above where we set up our y positioning, and we're going to say if uh, y is equal to uh, this dot uh, get height minus radius minus one. So if it's at the bottom of the applet, we're gonna deduct some you know, horizontal direction, kind of like we did with uh, when we had the ball bounce. And um, this time we're just gonna kind of slow the ball down every time it hits the ground, or if it starts rolling, you know, it's gonna gradually slow down as well. So again, all we're saying right now is if our ball is at the bottom of our applet, we're gonna say our DX, again, that's referring to the X speed, and we're gonna say uh, times equal um, we could either say our energy lost or um, you know some kind of value. Generally, you'd want, uh, for this example, our frictional, or we're going to say our x friction and set that up. Uh, we want our x friction to be less than our energy loss that we set up when it bounces. So um, we set up something called x friction. Let's just go up here and create a new double for our friction and the x direction. And we're gonna set this equal to be like 0.9 instead of 0.65 like our energy loss. So we're just gonna run this with uh, you know our, our values that we have set up here and each time it hits the ground it kinda of slows down by 90% um, and right here it looks a little bit kinda of shady it doesn't seem like it's uh, stopping at all but eventually it will right there. So all we're gonna to do to fix that is again scroll down uh, to where we were just working where we check for the height and uh, we know we slowed down our uh, x speed by you know our friction component and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if um, like our DX is less than let's say like 0.5 or we could do uh, like 0.8 um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set our DX to be equal to zero you know we're just gonna help slow down the process a little bit quicker um, the only problem is well let me show you because if I don't show you some of you guys will probably be confused about this uh, you know this concept here um, so right now as you can see our X position just stopped the first time it hit because when it's going backwards our DX is a negative value which is obviously less than one and that's not what we we're trying to think um, that's not what we we're trying to do so all we're gonna do is we're gonna say the absolute value of our D DX so again um, if you guys watched the previous series uh, we remember the math class has an absolute value uh, method in there. So we're just going to say the absolute value of dx. So whether it be negative 18, it's just going to compare 18. Um, is that less than point, point 0.8? Well, obviously not. Um, so now it should get rid of that problem and let's check it out. Looks pretty, uh, pretty fancy and pretty good and it slows and stops a little bit quicker than it did previously. So again, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.